welcome to Advancing Academy. We are discussing combination and I hope you have watched the previous lecture on combination. This is a video lecture number 13. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 2 and before watching part 13. Um, we were discussing about tricks and techniques on combination. The first series is uh, there in the last, last lecture. And now we are proceeding some more ideas on the solving questions related to combination. How to deal with such questions. So, last question we have discussed in the previous lecture that out of 10 distinct points in a plane, distinct point in a plane, plane, 6 of them are collinear. 6 of them are collinear. How many triangles can be formed by joining them? How many triangles? Many triangles can be formed by joining them. By joining them. Right? So, this is a question, and uh, we had solved this question in the last video lecture. If you have not watched the last video lecture, please watch this, and thereafter uh, we will learn this how to do this question. So, one formula has been given in the previous lecture that out of uh, 10 n distinct points in a plane, m of them are collinear, the number of triangles that can be drawn is uh, nc2, nc3 minus nc3, right? So, here we can write 10 c3 minus 6 c3, that is 120 minus 20, that is 100 triangles. Now, we are thinking about some alternate idea. How this question can be solved again? To solve this question, we can have alternate ideas. How? Let me distribute these points. Collinear points are non-collinear are non-collinear points are four. Non-collinear points that is considered as other points. Other points. Non-collinear points are other points. And collinear points, collinear points are 6, 6. Non-collinear points are 4. Number of triangles, number of triangles, triangles. How many triangles can be found? So first case I would consider here, that if there are, if there are case first, first case, that all out of four non-collinear points, if three of them can be selected for making a triangle, then how many triangles can be formed? That is three points from non-collinear and zero point from here, the number of triangles can be formed as 4C3, that is 4, right? If I would take two points from collinear, non-collinear points and one out of collinear, then triangle can be also formed. How is that? Try to understand. These six points are there. Say, six points are there. One, two, three, four, five and six. These six points are collinear and four points are not collinear. Like this one, two and uh, here I can write this is 1, 2 and 3 is here like somewhere and 4 is there. So they are not collinear. I can take all these three points different and make a triangle, right? That is possible. Out of non, not collinear points are taken here. All of them are, let me write some different diagram here so that you can understand it, something clear about. And uh, here, here. This is the place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 1, 2, 3 and 4. If I join all these three non-collinear points, a triangle can be made. So similarly, out of four non-collinear points, second triangle can be made like this, third triangle can be made like this, and fourth triangle can be made like using this fact also. Right? So four points can be taken and a triangle can be formed 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, one triangle, 
right? Two triangle, three triangle, and four triangle. So four triangles can be made by joining them. Now, if out of two of them, these two points and one point from collinear, if I can join, a triangle can be formed, isn't it? So one point from collinear points and any two points from non-collinear, if I would take, a triangle can be formed, isn't it? So in that case, the number of triangles will be 3 out of 4 non-collinear points, 2 can be selected in 4C2H. 4C2H. Out of 6 collinear points, 1 point can be selected in 6C1H. We want 1 point from this and 2 points from this to form a triangle. And therefore, 2 points from this and 1 point from this and come in between. So we need to multiply. So here multiply. 4C2 is 6 and 6C1 six is 6. So the 36 triangles can be formed in such a way. Third case can be considered like I can choose one from non-collinear points and two from collinear points. Then also a triangle can be formed. So two from this, one, two, and one from this, then a triangle can be formed. Even. So using two points from collinear one, and one point from non-collinear, a triangle can be formed. In this way, how many triangles can be formed? Out of four non-collinear points, one can be selected in 4C1 wedge. Out of six collinear points, two can be selected in 6C2 wedge. So 4, 6, 1 is 4. 62 is 15. 15, 4 is 60. And now, total number of triangles. Either first case is possible, or second case is possible or third case is possible. Do you think there is any other case possible? Do you think that three points from collinear one can be taken and triangle can be formed? It won't be possible. Why? Because if I would take these three points from collinear, it will form a line only. It cannot form a triangle. And therefore, these three cases are only possible. Either first case or second case or third case either first or second or third either or comes into play so what to do you have to make an addition you have learned this basic rules so total number of triangles here total number of triangles will be how many 36 plus 4 40 plus 60 100 and this was the answer of this question so this rule is applicable to find number of quadrilaterals, number of pentagon, number of hexagon. In all such situation, only three cases will form either one from no from none from collinear points can be taken, or one of them can be taken, or two of them can be taken. Even pentagon or hexagon or quadrilateral, any kind of figure, any kind of polygon having more than three sides are to be formed. We cannot take more than two points from collinear one. Just three cases only you need to consider. I hope you got it. Because more than two points, three points, four points from collinear, if you take, it will form a line only. It will be not longer helpful to find any other more than one sides. So one more example I'm taking. This is the two method. Here triangle is applicable for both, but quadrilateral is not applicable for both the formula and that is why I suggested that whenever number of quadrilaterals is to be calculated don't use this formula how and why this will be wrong let me explain this out of 9 distinct points in a plane out of 9 distinct point in a plane Three of them are collinear. Three of them are collinear. Or five of them are collinear. Say five of them are collinear. Collinear. How many quadrilaterals can be formed by joining them? How many quadrilaterals? Quadrilaterals can be formed. by joining them joining them how many quadrilaterals can be formed by joining them so again here we will go for
for the same solution, same type of solution. Here, collinear points are how many? Collinear points are five. Other points are other points that is non-collinear points are how many? Remaining four because total nine points are there. Five of them are collinear, so remaining four are other points. Now again we can consider the similar cases that we can take case first. I can take all four points from uh, non-collinear, that is other points. The first case can be zero from collinear and all four from other points. Then the number of quadrilaterals can be formed. Quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals can be formed is like 4C4. 4C4 is one only. Right? Now second case can be that out of five collinear points, one point from collinear and three points from other can be taken. Out of five collinear points, one point can be taken in 5C1 which 5C1 and three points out of four can be taken as 4C3 that will be 5 into 4 that will be 20. Third case can be two from collinear and two from other points can be taken. Two from collinear and two from other. Then out of five, two can be selected in 5C2. Out of four, two can be selected in 4C2. That is 10 into 6 is equal to 60. And therefore, total number of quadrilateral quadrilateral laterals are how much? 60 plus 20, 80 plus 1, 81. 81 would be the answer of this question. If you are looking for formula and if you think that formula will be also do the same things and same answer then it would be. Why? Because if I will apply the number of quadrilaterals like number of quadrilaterals like using the previous concept for triangle what we have used then it would be 9C4 minus 5C4 then in that case what would be answer? 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 upon 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 minus 5C4 is 5C1 that is 5. So if I do this 4 to the 8, 3 to the 6, 9 to the 18, 18 to the 126 minus 5 it would be 121. Wherever the actual answer is 81 and by using this formula this will have come 121 which is wrong. So don't use for quadrilateral and pentagon and hexagon in all other cases you have to use this concept. And in this concept, whether it is a quadrilateral, whether it is a triangle, or pentagon, or hexagon, or whatever, any kind of gun, it will be always like three cases only. Either you can take zero point from collinear, or one, or two. More than two points from collinear cannot be selected to form any polygon. Right? So, in that case, answer would be 81 only. I hope you got it. Right? So, let me write some other concepts. Out of M, out of M parallel lines, parallel lines, if n parallel lines, right like this, if n parallel lines are intersected by, intersected by another n parallel lines, parallel lines, then the total number of, the total number of, total number of parallelograms parallelograms that can be formed 
can be formed are MC2 multiply by MC2. MC2 multiply by MC2. This is a trick. You must remember because if there is a set of in parallel lines, these are M lines, and intersected by another set of in parallel lines, N lines, then number of parallelogram will be MC2 multiply by NC2 because any two line out of these N lines can be selected and any two lines from this can be selected they will form a parallelogram so this will be the formula you must remember this let me write one example to explain this and justify this also so what will be that a set of question is a set of four parallel lines parallel lines are intersected by intersected by another set of three parallel lines parallel lines then how many parallelograms will be formed how many parallelograms will be formed will be formed will be formed how many parallelograms will be formed so here as per formula solution would be in place of m there is 4 in place of m there is 3 so number of parallelograms as per formula would be parallelograms would be how many number of parallelograms would be 4c2 multiplied by 3c2 4C2 is 6 multiplied by 3 that is 18 parallelograms will be formed by using this. Let me explain this in physical sense. What would be that? These are the 4 lines 1, 2, 3, 4 and intersected by 3 more lines 1, 2, 3. 4 parallel lines are intersected by 3 other parallel lines. How many parallelograms need to be formed? Let us calculate it physically. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? 6, then this would be 7. Then that would be 8. This would be 9. Right? This 4 will make a parallelogram. So it would be 10. Last 4 would make it 11. And this complete one would be 12. Right? Then thereafter, they can make 12. 13, this one is 13, right? Last two will make 14 and the complete one is 15. Similarly, this two is 16, last two is 17 and this one is 18. So in this way, 18 parallelograms are formed. You can count it physically, but even though, if I would give, because of my experience, I can count it easily. But if you have to count this, Suppose if I increase one more line in both the sides, in that case, I am sure you will be not able to count even in half an hour that exactly the number of parallelograms that can be found. But within the using the formula, you can calculate this in fraction of seconds that is 5C2 into 4C2 and 5C2 you know that is 10, 4C2 is 6, so 60 will be answered. So if you calculate this, it will be 60. But it is not easy to calculate manually that 60 parallelograms. It would be very difficult. Even if you calculate this, it would be very difficult. Might be possible that you are not getting exactly 18. Some of the parallelograms may be counted twice or more than twice. Uh, some of them may be left out. So exactly 18, it is not easy to calculate manually. But using the formula, you can calculate for any number of triangles, any number, any number of parallelograms for any number of lines are given using this formula mc2 multiply by mc2 ok now next questions are have you seen somehow chessboard I am sure you have seen chessboard many of you know how to play chessboard many of you are good player of chessboard right I am sure 
You have seen chessboard? Yes. Do you tell me how many squares are there on chessboard? Hmm. Most of the students told me about 64 is the answer. Do you answer all are this is also your answer 64? If no, then what would be what is your answer? Is it 65? Some intelligent people say me 65. What is your answer? Tell me. How many squares are on chessboard? I don't know how to play chessboard. I am illiterate of the chessboard, how to play, how many, how horse and camel and soldiers are moving, what are their movement, how many steps they are moving, but one thing I know that you don't know, how many squares are on chessboard. So will you tell me how many squares are on chessboard? No, okay, I am telling you 204 squares are on chessboard. Do you think I have calculated it manually? No, I have a concept in which I can deal with. How we can calculate this? If this is a grid, think like this. This is a grid. Grid of n cross n. Say like this. n cross n. If this is a grid of n cross n. Right? n cross n. N cross N means N box in vertical and N box in horizontal. So if this is a grid of N cross N, then the total number of squares that can be calculated, the total number of squares in a grid of grid of N cross N is sigma n square. What is sigma n square? You remember? Sigma n square is sum of a natural number that is n into n plus 1, 2n plus 1 upon 6. This is the answer. Total number of squares in a grid of n cross n would be n into n plus 1, 2n plus 1 upon 6. And therefore, we can calculate the total number of squares squares in a chessboard 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 is a grid of 8 cross 8 would be in place of a and I can put 8 8 into 9 into 2 into 8 16 plus 1 17 divided by 6 3 2 ja 6 3 3 ja 9 2 4 ja 8. 4 3 is 12. 12 multiplied by 70. 12 multiplied by 70. 70 multiplied by 10 is 170 and 72 is 34. 170 plus 34 is 204. So total number of squares are 204. How is that? Will you calculate this? Let me explain why this is. 64 what you are saying about this small squares. You know? These small squares are on chessboard 64. This is a grid of 6 into 6. So here it would be 36 small squares. But in chessboard, if you calculate this, this will be 64. So these are 64 small squares. These 4 can also make a square. Isn't it? Will not? These 4 will also make a square. And these 4 will also make a square. And these 4 will also make a square. Why 4? 9 of them can make a square, these nines are squares. Why these nines are squares like this? Right? Why 9? 16 can be also a square. These 16 are squares like this. This 6 into 6, this will be also a square. So many squares can be generated. That is almost impossible to calculate manually. But the idea is that one can be taken at a time, two can be two. Horizontal to vertical can be taken at a time that is 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square up to 8 square and therefore taking all 8 at a time so that would be 1. Taking 7 at a time that is n minus 1 it would be 4. 7 into 7 that would be 4. And similarly it will come from 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square, 6 square, 7 square, 8 square. That is sum of a square of first and natural number and 8 because it is a 8 into 8 grade. 
So in place of it, it would be n. And n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. So in place of n, if I would put 8, 8 into 9 into 17 by 6, and that will come 204. I'm sure you got this. Okay, so let me write one question. And thereafter, you will answer this question. Write down. Question is, if a set of 6 vertical lines, if a set of, if a set of 6 vertical lines, lines are intersected by, intersected by 6 horizontal lines, horizontal lines such that the distance between distance between two consecutive horizontal lines horizontal lines are same as two consecutive vertical lines consecutive Vertical lines, vertical lines. How many squares can be formed? How many squares can be formed? Squares can be formed. Now, what is your answer? Be quick. Answer this question. What is your answer? Hmm. Take your time and give the answer. I hope you got it. And uh, what is your answer? Many students told me that the answer is 91. If this is your answer, then it is wrong. Why? Because you have put 6 here and by putting the value 6 here, you are 6 into 7 into 6 to the 12 and 13 divided by 6. 6, 6 cancel and 13, 7, 91 you got the answer that is wrong. Why? Because I have told here that 6 lines are drawn, 6 lines are drawn, 6 vertical lines are there and intersected by 6 horizontal lines. This is a situation here 6 vertical lines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 intersected by 6 horizontal lines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 then grid of 5 into 5 form 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 box are 5 into 5 so therefore number of state squares can be calculated by using n is equal to 5 here only number of squares that can be formed can be formed is what? that is 5 into 5 in 5 into 5 grade 5 5 plus 1 6 and 5 to the 10 1 11 divided by 6 6 6 cancel 11 5 to 55 that would be answered and this question has been asked in civil services prince examination 2007 so I hope you must be proud to solve this question to do this question and this type of question will ask in IIT so you can solve in seconds only so thank you very much for watching. Some more tricks and techniques we will discuss in next class. For many tricks and techniques you watch our video continuously and subscribe our channel on YouTube. And for any difficulty, any clarification you do write to us at Singh Academy at the rate of gmail.com. Thank you, thank you very much. God bless.